Over the years, we've come up with many ways that advocates can fit into Americans for Safe Access campaigns. This next section is just going to give you an overview of ways that you can plug in to this national movement. There are many ways to work with Americans for Safe Access, and perhaps the most important one is to join as a member of ASA today. Being a member means adding your voice to ours, it provides you with access to our resources, and most importantly, it provides us with the resources we need to help you do the work that you need to do. In addition to being a member of Americans for Safe Access, you may also participate in other ways. ASA has an ambassador program. This is a program for individuals who are working on uh, projects by themselves but still need the resources and the participation of the larger group to get those done. ASA ambassadors are working across the country on projects uh, that include legislation, regulations, PR, and even research. Another important tool for working with Americans for Safe Access is the ASA Action Group. These are small, ad hoc groups of activists working together on projects uh, that are usually temporary in nature. So as opposed to a chapter, which would uh, work on an ongoing basis, an ASA Action Group might organize for a specific purpose to pass a resolution, help to adopt a piece of legislation, or do court support. If you set up an ASA Action Group, it's an ideal way to build coalitions and to uh, uh, galvanize support in your community without asking for a longer term commitment. We also want people to join or organize ASA chapters. ASA chapters are ongoing bodies that work together to implement the campaigns of Americans for Safe Access and work on the community's priorities. There's detailed information on our website about joining your local ASA chapter or starting a new one if you don't have one in your city or your county. And then finally, you can work with Americans for Safe Access as an affiliate. If you're already a member of another organization, whether it be a drug policy reform organization or a healthcare-based organization, you can work with ASA where our issues overlap and our constituencies overlap by becoming an affiliate. By using these tools as a member, an action group, an ambassador, or even a chapter, you can make the most of your relationship with Americans for Safe Access. The number one priority for the legal hotline um, at ASA in 2011, I think, is making sure that patients are educated about their rights and also the risks involved in being a medical marijuana patient and making sure that patients know what are the safest ways uh, to be a patient and deal with law enforcement encounters and civil issues. Putting Patients First Training is a course that ASA has developed that's geared specifically to medical cannabis professionals and is meant to help people who work in dispensaries that work directly with patients. ASA has a wide variety of literature that ranges from our legal manuals, newsletters, legal tips of the month, know your rights cards, and our condition booklets. ASA produces eight different condition booklets that range from chronic pain to cancer. An important resource for finding what you need is the website for Americans for Safe Access www.americansforsafeaccess.org. Americans for Safe Access has a variety of tools to keep you informed, including our blog, our discussion forums, and our updates uh, that come out each week about latest news and activities around medical cannabis. If you live in a county, city, or state that's looking to regulate medical cannabis, give ASA a call. Our policy shop can help you Develop the tools you need to effectively lobby your legislators. ASA chapter and affiliates represent the core of ASA's grassroots activism and have been spreading across the country like never before. And we encourage creativity. Think about what makes sense based on your own community's needs. My name is Bill Britt and I'm the executive director of the Association of Patient Advocates and for the last 15 years I've been going to court and helping people, sick and disabled people, being dragged through the courts. A main tool for me has been Americans for Safe Access. I've been able to utilize their resources to help patients and what, I, what I've come across is that it, it seems like there aren't a lot of organizations that really care about the patients when it comes to court decisions. Uh, they represented me in San Diego when the San Diego tried to overturn the, uh, the ID card program and rule that I was, uh, they couldn't do unconstitutional. Well, I wouldn't have been able to afford an attorney to do this, to, to stand up for patients' rights. They represented me, and again, this case went to the uh, state appellate courts and we won. The state Supreme Court refused to hear it. The, the uh, United States Supreme Court refused to hear it. And this is all thanks to Americans for Safe Access. So I can't say enough uh, about the, the benefits of, of utilizing their services and becoming a member. I urge everybody to become a member of Americans for Safe Access. 
uh, contribute to Americans for Safe Access, go out there and get involved, start your own chapter. They need you, we need your help. Patients need your help, so go out there and get involved. And thank you Americans for Safe Access for all you do.